Thank you, President. It took me a bit by surprise there. Um, I uh, hope very much that Lithuania will learn from the experience in the UK, um, which went through its own agonies, our own agonies, um, of having a law which banned the promotion, the promotion of homosexuality in schools. Uh, the then Conservative Party leader, now Prime Minister, David Cameron, said 18 months ago that uh, his party was wrong in its support for that 1988 law, which has now been, has subsequently been rep repealed. Indeed, David Cameron predicted that the first openly gay Prime Minister in the UK would be a Tory. Uh, we will see, but that's what he predicted. So you could see there was a huge change in attitudes in the space of two decades. And I think this, this development in the attitudes, which my uh, colleague Charles Tannock knows a lot more about, but this move by the centre-right is, I think, reflected in a quite modest and moderate EPP resolution and, indeed, in Simon Busuttil's opening remarks. I'm hopeful that, if, uh, that the EPP might be able to rally to the main resolution if most of their amendments are accepted in the vote tomorrow. So the situation in the UK has been transformed to the extent that the proprietors of a small guest house were today forced to pay compensation to a gay couple whom they refused to allow to stay in breach of the law. As the judge remarked, they were perfectly at liberty, these proprietors, to hold or discuss their personal views on homosexuality. What they could not do was discriminate on the basis of those views. And it's talk, discussion, debate, right of assembly that would be affected by the proposed Lithuanian laws. Banning the, pre the promotion or propagation of homosexuality is likely to have a chilling effect on free speech and discussion, as the Fundamental Rights Agency has uh, pointed out. I join Sophie Inertveld in calling for an EU roadmap to combat homophobia and discrimination, and I call on all those um, across the political spectrum in this House uh, to unite in support of the whole range of human rights. Thank you.